So now once we have done fetching values from the database, this time we'll try to insert values. So you can see we have uh, three records, right? So we have one Rani, two Navin and three Mahesh. Let's say we want to add one more row, but not from MySQL. I want to do it with the help of Java. So of course we need to write this query, right? So what we can do is we can simply copy this query so that we can use this query in my code. So let me just paste this query here. But the data I want to insert is not uh, three Mahesh. I want to insert four, mm, let's name Mohini. So we have four and Mohini. I want to insert this value into database. Now uh, we can, yeah, we can take any name, doesn't matter, right? So what we'll do here is to insert, to insert that value, uh, we cannot write execute query, right? Because whenever you want to insert value into database, so we have three types of languages in SQL, right? So we have DDL, we have DML, and then we have DQL. So whenever you work with DDL, which is data definition language, which is, which let's say if you are creating a table, when if you are, if you are changing the structure of your database, it is DDL data definition language. DML is whenever you want to change the value of a table, let's say you are inserting a new value, you are updating existing value, you are deleting existing row, so that is DML. Whenever you file the query for date fetching data, so that is DQL. We also have TCL for which is transaction control language, let's say you want to grant permission, you want to revoke permission, so that is TCL. Okay. Time in we are talking about DDL, DML and DQL. So whenever you work with DQL, which is data query language, where you fetch the data from the database, we need to use execute query because this execute query returns the object of result set because we have, we are getting data from the database. But whenever you work with DML, let's say if you want to insert data. So while inserting, you're not fetching the data of the table, right? So instead of using execute query, we will be using execute update because execute update, so there's a method execute update, which will give you, so it will take a parameters SQL query and it will give you int. It will not give you object of result set, right? Now, what is this int? So this int represents the number of rows affected. So let's say if you, if you, ins if you insert data into database, so it, will it will affect one row. If you update a table by some, let's say if you are updating three to four rows at the same time, so you'll be getting four, it will return the value four, which, which, is, which means we have updated four rows. So we cannot write uh, rs dot, we, we cannot write rs there, we have to say a count. So this is the number of uh, rows which are affected, right? And then since we are not send, fetching data, so no need of uh, while there, no need of this string, we can simply print a statement. So we can say, uh, count plus rows affected okay even I'm not sure it will be rows or rows so we'll use slash s okay because uh, if two rows then two rows then if it's one row then one row affected right so now if I run this query it should work so you can see we got one row affected right and let's go back to the SQL uh, let's fire the query and if I for the query, you can see we have four Mohini, right? So we can insert the data with the help of insert clause, uh, insert query, and then for inserting, we have to use execute update. But let's say we don't have this data available. We have this data in the variable. So let's say if I have a variable as user ID and we have five there, and then we have one more record, which is, uh, with, this is of type int, right? And then we'll be having a string, which is, let's say the name is, uh, let's say Ali, right? So we have this name. So we have username, user ID five and username Ali. I want to insert these values into database. For that, I cannot write four here. We have to write user ID. And then we, instead of writing Mohini, we need to mention this is username, right? Uh, but hold on, we want to fetch the value of user ID, right? So we cannot write user ID inside double quotes because that's a variable. So we need to separate this user ID from the double quotes. So we'll end the double quotes here and we'll say plus because we are trying to concatenate this. We'll say plus double quotes. Okay, again, the same thing here. After single quote, we have to say plus double quotes. Oh, not double quotes here. But before this, you have to send double quotes. 
and then again plus double quotes right so we need to open and close double quotes very you know by very uh, by taking proper precautions because it may be uh, you you might be ending double quotes somewhere else and then it will give you error right so this is how we need to write double quotes and then plus operator and if I run this query now so you can see it, it says one row affected and if I go back to the database if I run this query we got five records now it seems easy right because we can give double quotes and plus but let's say we don't have two columns we have ten columns in that scenario we have to we have to do lots of plus and double quotes right so this is not the best way of doing it so the best way to handle this type of things whenever you want to insert values where values are coming dynamically so we can use something called as instead of using statement we can use prepared statement okay so as we have seen in the theory we have talked about this right so if you have not seen the theory of this uh, just go back to my channel once again and search for the java database connectivity theory by telisco okay now so uh, we have uh, yeah so instead of using statement we'll be using prepare statement now what is prepare statement means so whenever you want to work with the predefined queries you can see the query is fixed but the value will keep changing in this scenario we should always use prepare statement how to use prepare statement just say state instead of statement just write prepare statement here so that is prepared statement right let's okay that's prepare statement and instead of create statement here because whenever you work with prepare statement we have to use our method which is prepare statement okay and in this prepare statement it will ask you for the query it is a predefined query right and whenever you work with prepare statement you don't have to write all these double quotes and plus you can simply say I know the query but I don't know the values now when you say I don't know the values just add question mark there okay so instead of adding the values just write question mark right and uh, so before executing so you can see I'm executing the query here right so before executing uh, we need to first change the values right so we'll say 6 and we'll give the name as the poly okay now so instead of uh, so before filing the query we have to update the value so you have to replace this question mark with 6 we need to replace this question mark with the help of the poly how to do that just simply say st dot so to update the value just say set int now this set int will take two parameters the first parameter is the number of question marks so it is the first question mark and the value is user id okay then we have to say st dot set string for the second question mark and then you have to mention the username right so we, we are replacing these two things the first question mark and the second question mark right and let's run this code and we got error congrats uh, we already okay so we have a error near the double quotes okay what's the error everything seems good insert into students values okay everything seems good there should not be any problem there okay let me write this once again now what's the issue okay so we have we are writing one we are writing two we are using prepare statement of the same package so no issue with that we are inserting user id we are inserting username and we are not using okay everything seems good let's run this once again and there's a problem again so it says check the manual there's some something wrong with double quotes okay uh, everything seems perfect nothing to worry okay let me write this query once again so values um, question mark, comma, question mark, don't be right. Okay, so let's query. And this is prepare statement, con dot prepare statement, everything seems good. Okay, that's prepare statement. Still there's an error. So let me just check. You can see we have we have made one mistake here. Since we are passing the query here. We should not pass the same query here because once you use prepare statement, you have to mention the query in the prepare statement, not in the execute update, right? And if I run this code, you can see we are getting one row affected now, right? Let's go back to the database and if I run this code, you got six Dipali, right? It's that simple. 
So that's how we need to use, we need to insert values. We can also update here. We can write update query. We can write delete query. We can do all those stuff here. Uh, and that's how you do insertion you, or that's how you fetch values. So in the next video, we'll see how to use a design pattern called as DAO design pattern. So whenever you work with uh, uh, maybe a project or advanced software, we need to use some design patterns, right? One of the design patterns we should know about is DAO, which is data access object. So when you work with database, database uh, stuff, which is JDBC, you should always write your DAO, you should always write your database steps inside this DAO layer. So this DAO will be a new uh, a class in which you'll be having all these steps. So that uh, it will create some layers so that if you have any problem with the database, you will only change the DAO layer, not the whole software. Again, how to use that, that we'll see in the next video. So I hope you like this video. Just click on the like button there and do subscribe for further videos.